Hey, creative friends. Welcome to Tracy Bautista Color. This is Tracy, and I am going to share with you a little sample of what I've been playing. I actually sat down just for about maybe 10 minutes and did a little quick abstract landscape using my new pigment bars. Um, this is the graffiti nature's graffiti i think most of these are part of the nature's graffiti set minus this one i think this might have been from sometime last year um but if you are new here i am a mixed media artist and author and educator and a paint maker and in 2022 i created this product called pigment bars they are wax basically wax paint in a bar. They are like a drawing tool, a mark making tool. You can actually heat them up and paint with them hot. And you can also use them as a resist for watercolor for with acrylic paints and also on top of acrylic paints and acrylic mediums like super matte medium by Golden. And you can also use them blended with oil paints. So they truly are an amazing mixed media product. So here is this landscape that I did really quickly. Um, and I kind of lined up the bars where I painted. So let me move this down. So sometimes the bars, um, most of them are duotone. Some of them have multiple. This one probably has like five different colors. There's a little bit of blue embedded in there, if you can see that one. And then you can see here on the side, there is another set of this darker blue. And then there's a little brown and a little pink that's inside this one bar. So sometimes the colors are a little more transparent and they have kind of this lighter color and then I have ones that are very much more opaque and darker and this one this particular bar has two three colors I think there's a little bit of a different green in there uh, there is this like olive green and this really beautiful deep indigo kind of black color and you can see that color down here and then I've got one, this one's almost more, it's not totally solid because there's a little bit of different color in the center there, but um, this one is more just a, a duotone where it's darker on one side and a little bit lighter on the top. And then there's some that are highly contrasted where there is a vibrant, well, vibrant color on one side, and then you've got this really beautiful dark, dark blue and actually there's a little bit of a lighter blue like in the center there too, probably closer to maybe this color. So you can see I did a little bit of highlights in the mountains right here uh, in the hills with that pink. And then uh, the black that you see in here uh, is a mixture of a charcoal pencil and also I think I might have used a couple of graphite sticks to do this. So I thought I would just give a, an overview of what some of these products look like when they're laid down on paper. So I'm gonna dive in and paint a little bit on another piece of paper. This was inside a Strathmore journal, visual journal. And I don't know if there are any blank pages on here, so we'll see i have a tray of my handcrafted watercolors over here in this um, tile here and some brushes that i use so i did paint with this uh, draw with these bars on most of this but then i did also use a couple of brushes that um, helped me kind of move around the pigment bars once they're down on the papers so i don't know if there's any blank papers in this particular so oh, here's one. Ah, here's a couple. Although I think there's stuff on the other side. Let's see. Um, yeah, that might be kind of fun to paint on. So one of the things with these bars is that you don't need a really heavy touch. Like I'm barely touching the page and there's a lot of color that's deposited. And you can also see 
that there's multiple colors in one mark. And that's because I, when I create them, like this one here has three colors in it. So if I was to kind of stand it up, you see there's a little bit of that green in the center there. And I could probably get a little bit of it, more of it to show just like right there by, by making sure I use that one little corner. But I could also then, if I just wanted that blue color, I could just take the whole side and and move it that way too. So you'll notice I wear a glove usually on my painting hand with, with my right hand because I'm right-handed because I do most of my work right hand um, with my right hand. So I will add, uh, I'll add uh, using a glove just so I don't get the pigment bar all over my fingers because you'll notice like what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of rubbing it into the into the paper. You could also use a brush to do that. Um, I use a couple of different brushes to kind of spread the pigment bars around. This is a Silver Monza by Silver Brush. And I love this one because it's got um, these really nice bristles where I can really blend some of these through. I can also take a stencil and place this over here and maybe add in a little color this way. So there's a little color on this brush already, but I'm actually trying to take most of the color that's underneath and just kind of spread it. And it just makes this really beautiful blended stencil print. You'll see in a minute as I lift this up. So you get a beautiful um, print there and you can use that as a resist, which is really, really fun. So I'm just gonna continue to add in some marks. The other great thing about Having some of these that have more of a blender bar side, kind of a lighter color. This one actually had, you can see that one has a little of that beautiful, um, it's like a peachy brown in there. So I can use this side to blend, but I can also then get some of that really pretty, it's like a pink brown that's inside of this. And you only get to that once you get into kind of the, the middle of this bar. So each bar has these really fun inclusions in them, but you won't really know until you get to that area on the particular, um, on that particular bar. So I can go in and kind of smooth this out if I wanted to with the brush. Again, you could use your fingers too. And you can also just draw right in over it with, this is a charcoal pencil. So it goes over the wax really well. There's a lot of different pencils you could use and mark making tools. Graphite, this is a, is this a Lyra? A Lyra graphite. So I, I'm just kind of playing and, um, I can also use this to spread the color too. So oftentimes I will take this and also clean it off onto another piece of paper too. So um, I don't mix too many pigments there. And then I can bring in some of that highlight with that pink in here, which is really, really pretty. And then if I want to kind of glaze over that, I can do that too. Maybe I'll bring in a little of this ochre color. And then obviously it's going to mix with the color underneath. So you can really get these beautiful blends of colors with the bars. 
And then when you start adding different mediums underneath, I love using super matte medium or pastel ground by golden, um, which gives like this really big, like more of a pop, which I probably should prep a pa paper. I'll do that in another video. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and just do a little watercolor wash over some of these areas down here, maybe with this like ochre and a little of this sienna color over here. This is my handcrafted watercolors from the Nature's Graffiti Collection. So wherever there's not any wax, then this will fill in. So you can see it's kind of beating up because that means that there's wax underneath it. So the wax acts as this really beautiful resist color. And it kind of just repels the, the rest of the wax that's there. I'll bring this wash up to the top. So it's been really fun just to kind of play with them this abstract landscape idea. And I'm gonna take this back and just kind of dab some of that out. Actually, I love the texture, so I'm gonna let some of these dry down here. And then um, once it's dry, I can go back over it with other mixed media if I, if I want to. I can take a, this is an aqua, aqua rollable, the, um, what is that? The Stabilo pencil works great on here too. So earlier this year, I did a bunch of work creating abstract landscapes. One of my other favorite things to add into some of this pigment bar work is um, using like a titanium white acrylic paint. And um, I may do a little bit of that once this dries, but I wanted to kind of show you just those first layers and what you could do with these pigment bars and some other mixed media and water soluble pencils. So I've got, what is this? This is an Aquatone see how this one a little bit lighter I should grab some of my luminance pencils okay so I grabbed some of my pencils I just they were in, a, in the bottom of a box so <laughs> I don't know which colors I grabbed I love using the luminance pencils with my pigment bars because they are water, I mean, they're not water soluble. They're oil based. They work really nicely with the pigment bars. You can see how kind of creamy and, and vibrant the, the line is over the top of the pigment bar. And then this is just a Prismacolor, I think. Yes, this is a Prismacolor. So let's see. Sometimes I think the Prismacolor, depending on the color that you're, so it works great on like, because of this color is so light, when I, when I color it over the top of that kind of muted color, it works really nicely. Let's see with this. This is pretty up here. With over, that's over, that's over watercolor. I don't know how much of the pigment bar got up there, not very much. So when it's on a darker color, for this particular color, it's a little lighter. Let me see if I have another Prisma color that I can scribble in here. So here's a Prisma color, it's a little bit darker. And that works great over the top too. So a lot of times when I am um, just wanting to play with the color palette, I'll create a page like this, which is somewhat, it's got a little bit of my abstract landscape um, idea in there. But the idea for me is also just to play with my tools to see kind of, it's almost like swatching. So I, I wanna see how well these 
pencils will hold up with the different products that I'm wanting to use for a particular pro project. So this is a Chromaflow Derwent, and that's really nice over both the water, it's, this has watercolor and my pigment bars. So you can see, you can get some really vibrant, little more detailed marks on that, which I love if you were to, let's see if I zoom in a little, kind of down there at the bottom, you can see that a little bit better. And let's see, and then I've, I've got this woody pencil too that, let's see how this does. I don't think that this is going to work too well over the wax. It just kind of treats it as a scraffito more so than anything else. Um, let's see if we so I have a piece of paper here. It might be interesting just to see if this will resist it. I don't know. I'm just seeing. Nope is okay so I love doing these experiments like this because you never know like I was like mm, I wonder if that'll resist but obviously that didn't work so I'm gonna do a little blend here and see what these colors look like in here so you get a little bit of that color one of the nice things though is that is fun with this is that I can take this and do a little we'll see what it looks like on here we'll do a little um, print making transfer and so I've got this line from what's left here so I scribbled in here so all those little areas you can see the little scribble in there which is kind of fun that's actually makes a fun um resist even though you know kind of doesn't match everything that's happening in this particular drawing but i could have been a little bit more um kind of mindful of my mark making let's do like a little bit more maybe tree looking things, just like an abstract tree. So that's just taking, I'm, I just have it, this is a piece of printmaking paper. You can use really anything like a piece of parchment paper. I mean, there's, the possibilities are endless. Then I can also use this piece as a um, collage sheet later. I could also then take this and do a little bit of stencil work too. Kind of just move some of that around like that. And then use it as kind of like a resist it's kind of fun let's do one more just to kind of spread this out so you'll notice when i paint i often will start with one thing and then I just keep kind of playing and seeing what happens as I layer things together. This is one of my soulful scribble stencils that I designed for Stencil Girl products. And so now you can kind of see how that looks like in there. I really am actually loving this little area there with all the scribbles inside there. It makes it, this makes actually a really fun start for a painting. And again, this is on printmaking Strathmore uh, I think it's the 300 series printmaking paper. 
I really love that printmaking paper. And so I think I'll probably continue with this and maybe use it for something else. But you can see here that made these really fun little mark makings. And then if I don't like what's happening, like I could kind of blend this to the back a little bit if it's not exactly what I want and just kind of play with it a little bit more. So there's ways to, you know, kind of experiment and and uh, change things too if you don't want if you don't like them like if I wanted to I could go back over here and maybe add in some stencil work I think I need a little bit of color though and again you know this is your sketchbook or your art journal so for me I'm not super concerned about it make being a fine like perfect. I, this is like my experimentation playground. It's a place where I can just kind of be free to do whatever I want. If it doesn't turn out, that's fine because then I know it's not what I really wanted. So you can see how you can start to hide it a little bit. But actually, I love this because it's almost like a abstract tree back there. And I may do that for some of these other little bits, but it's all about play and experimentation. I hope that's something that you walk away with anytime you watch any of my videos. So I will link my stencil in the comments of the video. And my pigment bars are available in the quarterly subscription, the pigment bars box subscription. And then from time to time, I have them available in one-time boxes. I have a really fun one-time box that's gonna be coming up soon. So you may want to get on the wait list on my email list so that you can find out more and stay tuned for more behind the scenes peeks into Tracy Bautista Color and how you can use all of these fun products with a variety of mixed medias. So have fun playing. Again, you can mix my pigment bars with watercolors and inks as a resist. You can scribble over the top of them with lots of different water soluble pencils, charcoal pencils, um, colored pencils, oil based colored pencils, and use them for stencils. So have fun playing and experimenting, and I would love to see what you create. If you have any of my products, use the hashtag Tracy Bautista Color and tag me on Instagram at Tracy Designs. Thanks for watching.